everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching if you haven't already don't forget to hit that like button down below the subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video all right this week we are taking a look at a coveted small class C I know everybody is looking for that entry-level class C that's not super expensive that's still built well that has a great warranty no slide out and under that 25 foot mark because everybody wants to get into those smaller state parks this baby is sitting at just over 24 feet long on the Ford 350 chassis. And you've got your new V8 in there with better horsepower, better torque than the old V10 Triton engine. This is the 2023 Thor Four Winds 22E model. This little cute motorhome is probably one of my favorite layouts to sell to couples or families that are like, hey, we're ready to move on to a motorhome, but um, the missus, or sometimes the mister, doesn't want to drive anything too large. We don't want to go over that really high end, or, or we don't want to go over our set budget, but we definitely want something from a good manufacturer. So this is a Thor product. You have their awesome, awesome warranty for their motorhomes. That's six year lamination and 12 year on the structure. You have that Moride foundation that chassis is upfitted by Moride that I've talked about before Moride is a company that specializes in the chassis for the um, emergency vehicles so your ambulances your fire trucks why wouldn't you want your motorhome sitting on the same foundation as those emergency vehicles it is laser um, leveled on a jig table at the factory so what does that mean for you more rigidity and a better overall house built on top of that structure uh, oh we got to go outside first right so we have the awning out here it is adjustable. My favorite part of the camping side of this unit is gonna be this massive, I think they, they have it on their MSRP as mega storage bay. Check that out. So I love that you could put some, maybe some big uh, you know, plastic bins, store your stuff, your outside goodies. Maybe um, I had a customer that had a, she had a cardboard box with her tiki torches and her rug that she would set up anywhere where she would go she would like set her campsite up first thing so you could put that in there this has enough height that you could stack a couple of chairs i know everybody loves those zero gravity chairs i believe you should be able to fit at least two of them in here so that's a big deal i wish they would upgrade these um latches to the magnets it would be a very small upgrade thor i'm looking at you um but again this one is more on the easeability and access and hey we want to get on the road and we just want something easy um, and simple ladder on the back you can get up there on the roof and check your caulk and if you have to oh wait you don't have a slide out so you don't have to wipe wipe off that slide before you close it um, hitch you have the trailer hitch in the back if you want to tow a vehicle um, again this is one of those units that I question what it can really tow because they put a hitch that's rated for it says it can pull 8,000 pounds but the tongue weight is actually only 500 pounds and if you aren't familiar with towing honestly neither am I I was just told this um, your towing tongue weight needs to be 10% of what you can totally pull. So that's only rated for 500 pounds, which would mean total towing should be 5,000 pounds. So not sure about that little snag there. Maybe they derated it because you also will probably have some stuff in the unit. So that might be the answer to that. Um, around the back here, drain outlet is down low. I do like that they have this little door here that protects it so that it's not just hanging out and hanging below the bottom of your unit where it can bump on the, you know, if you take a high, if you hit a high, uh, what is that called? Speed bump. Speed bump, thank you. Uh, then you won't knock off the bottom of your drain tank. Fuel is on the driver's side in the back, and then this is a 30 amp coach. I do have another video that probably is coming out the week before this video about the top things you need to have to get started on your first trip as a new owner. And one of those things will be, you know, your um, extension cord. And I go over the um, 
different types of electrical that you'll find on different units. So almost all your Class C's have 30 amp. I've never seen one with a 50 amp. Our 30 amp coaches that have two ACs will have a power management system on that 30 amp service. Here's your outdoor shower. Look, I mean, I'm short enough that I could take a shower out here, but uh, I'm 5'2", so <laughs> anybody taller might have to get down or take it off, but you can hose yourself off if you go to the beach and you wanna, before you get in there, rinse off before you get in your motor home. Your 4K gas generator is down there, your Onan generator, love that. That'll run off the same gas as your tank. And if you're not familiar with the process, when you hit a quarter tank, it will automatically shut off to keep your reserve so you can get to where you're going. By the way, I noticed in my last video that I squint and I look angry a lot, and it's just the bright, bright sun here in Orlando, Florida. We're, in, or, we're at Orlando RV in Castleberry, Florida, if you wanna stop by and buy something from us today. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're all set on the outside. So let's head in and check out this is the front, just a little ta-da, Four Winds logo. And let's go see how the inside looks. I'll give Caleb a minute to do a little 360. Don't go too fast, you don't wanna make him dizzy. <laughs> okay. Negative to this floor plan will probably be that you have two steps in the unit and then you have two steps on your floor. So there's a step into the bedroom and there's a small step behind Caleb there into the um, cab area. Now that cab step you'll find in everything, but this step, um, it's only certain models. Uh, Thor usually has a step into the bedroom. I believe it's to give you more headroom when you're actually like in this area where you'd mainly be standing and moving around but I could be wrong, I have been wrong before. All right, up front, big upgrade for 2023 is gonna be the bunk capacity. So Thor used to have like a 300 pound bunk capacity up there. They have more than almost, I guess, more than doubled that because it's now at 800 pounds. So two big beefy adults, three big beefy adults, four big, be I guess it depends on the weight of these big beefy adults, can fit up there and sleep comfortably. Well, I don't think four people sleep comfortably, but they might make it work like sardines. Uh, like a pack of the sardines. <laughs> so TV up there, which is nice. Big AC up in the center of your unit. It is a drop AC, so no ducting. That will ensure that, that yeah, it's a little bit louder, but you know what? It's going to cool your unit and keep it cooler a lot quicker because you're not losing that AC in those ducting, uh, in, that, in that duct work. Actually, I guess that would be my only question is the bathroom might get a little bit warmer. You have an opening on the bottom and the, and the top, but if you close this off you have no duct to the AC okay I'm getting all like all over the place here lots of storage with gas struts above your dining room area here grab that one thank you so a ton of storage in those three you have your big large extra wide dinette table here so you can sit four people comfortably it is a legless stream dinette like the cup holders I like the USB and U USB USB-A and USB-C chargers under here, but also this is one of those things where you can put your phone on top and it'll wirelessly charge it as well, which is cool. By the way, this unit does come with a 100 watt solar panel and a solar charge controller. I think it's down below in the entrance, down there. So that's another cool feature. You've got a solar panel on board to keep your battery charged. Um, moving into the bedroom area, there is this dresser which has a big big amount of hanging storage and then one drawer down below the ladder to the bunks is now stored in here it's a i'm a i'm a big fan of this ladder over the previous ladders that were like permanently open this just that's it locks in hooks in and it's done and then to close it you just push just watch your fingers and then you just hook it right back in here and you're all done Okay, bathroom, I'll uh, stand outside if you wanna walk in there and show them. Bathroom, you've got that porcelain foot flush toilet. I like that. Medicine cabinet is gonna be fairly large and then your shower surround with your big skylight up there. You've got a pretty decent amount of storage in the medicine cabinet. And then down below that sink is actually stainless steel. So I like that upgrade. They did a better job of that. Um, toilet paper holder. Looks like it's in a pretty good position. 
and check under that sink for me and see what the okay you have a shelf there but you've got a bit of storage so maybe put the maybe squeeze it, squeeze your garbage can in around these cracks or you just have to use the one out here all right storage all above the bed you have push buttons there by your bedside you've got some usb ports up here to charge your phone and put it up here and that is a corner bed so the only negative is whoever whoever doesn't get up at night to pee is stuck on the inside so and you've really got a shimmy in and out of this bed so um, also finding comforters i heard is kind of difficult for this but again smaller unit no slide out that this is a big deal everybody wants those tiny like lengthwise they're looking for something under 25 feet this is it by the way i don't go over pricing because of how crazy the market went during covid guys i've been getting some comments about like hey what's the price what's the price it changed so much from 2019 to 2020, then 2020 to 21, then 21 to 22, that I don't really know where the 23 year is gonna go. And I would prefer to stick to the important stuff of showing you the floor plans and the features and the things that you like about the coach. And then when it comes time for you to purchase, you can either call me or another dealer around you to get pricing and shop around in that way. Okay, continue on. We have a gas electric fridge here gas electric <laughs> and this has the condenser in the back that's how you can tell if it's a dual it's got that condenser it's not as deep as a 12 volt but it can run off of your propane in case you're trying to conserve your electricity you'll also see these buttons on it if you need to switch from auto to gas most people will just leave it in auto all right oven here is the you got a three burner cooktop these change color they stay red in case you've accidentally left one on so you know your propane is running and then down below you've got your little oven all right i don't oh this is your sponge one and then storage below uh, and then your sink stainless steel not super large but what are you going to do this counter is pretty small with your pull faucet and they do a little countertop extension here, which is, that's pretty solid. Uh, more storage here with a little smoky glass. You've got an adjustable shelf, I like that. This is a little high for me, but I'm sure most people that are not 5'2 will be able to reach that. And then here, look, fake, fake oven drawer that's really plywood on the inside. Okay, um, that is pretty much the coach. Ooh, shower miser in the bathroom. See, you walked in there and I forgot. I um, <laughs> it's the um, little blue nozzle that's on the inside of the shower there. And what that does, this thing. So when you're, ta when you're getting ready to shower, usually you're gonna run this shower and it's gonna kill about two to three gallons of your water while you're waiting for it to heat up. This shower miser ensures that you're recycling the water back to the water heater as it's heating up. This will change color and indicate that it's ready. And then you turn it on and you have hot water and you've now saved up to 40% of your tank um, with all the uses of this feature. So big key things on the four winds would be that massive six plus 12 warranty on the lamination and the structure of the unit, which is I think transferable to the second owner. You have a solar panel, you have a shower miser, um, you're under 25 feet. I mean, really, they, it packs a punch. You've got a nice big storage bay on the outside. And finally, I'll just take you up here real quick because I just thought of the um, Sirius XM radio. This is pretty simple, guys. You're not gonna have your um, left or right cameras. So that would be one thing I know people like don't like about this, but um, you have Sirius XM radio, you're gonna have access to your backup camera on this screen here. Pretty, pretty standard and simple. You can set your cruise control, you can mess with your radio a little bit, and then you have your tow haul feature here. Um, but yeah, I guess that would be it. Again, this was the 2023 Four Winds 22E, under 25 feet, great little coach. Uh, I'm Gabby from Orlando RV, and until next time, happy camping.